Welcome back to Thunkable! Ready to create your second iOS app? In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make an app with multiple screens, and you will be able to navigate to different screens by swiping on your phone. Boop. Let's call this app App 2 Giraffe Hat. Giraffe Hat. Giraffe Hat. Hey, that's a great name for a song. Look at this giraffe, he has a nice hat. Maybe it's a girl giraffe. I can't tell because it's a giraffe. Giraffe. Giraffe hat. giraffe hat. Yeah. To get started, let's drag and drop a tab navigator into the phone. The tab navigator will enable us to move between screens. Uh, next, let's drag and drop another screen into the phone. Fantastic work. Uh, now you have two screens. You can see them over here on the component tree. And uh, to make the tab navigator work, we need to connect it to the screens. And you can do this by selecting a screen over here and just dropping it into the tab navigator on the component tree. Great! See how it's connected? Let's do this for the other screen. Fantastic work! And if you want uh, to flip these around so screen one comes first, yeah, you can do that too. Very good. Yep, good for you. Uh, next, we are going to add an image component to screen one. So let's go to the image component over here. And we're just going to drag and drop it onto screen one. Nice. Nice. And let's, uh, let's do the same thing for screen two. Uh, so let's get the image component. And just drag and drop it. Nice. Very good. Uh, next, we want to upload our images. Uh, to do this, click the app name over here. And uh, we are going to upload our two images. Uh, one is of a giraffe. And uh, as you know, the next one is of a giraffe wearing a hat. Uh, which is why we call this app Giraffe Hat. And uh, this is everyone's favorite hat. Great! Uh, now we need to set our image components to these images. Um, so let's go back and we can just uh, click on image one over here. And uh, let's make image one the image of the giraffe. And to do this, we need to copy and paste the exact file name. Uh, so let's just go back to where we uploaded it and just copy and paste the, the first image, the giraffe and put it in here. Go ahead. Yep, I'll do that. Great. Um, shoot, I forgot I forgot what we were doing. Uh, oh yeah, we need to make the picture the size of the screen. Uh, so to do this, uh, let's click image and uh, for height, let's select uh, pick one, fit contents, and then fill container. Very good. And then on this area over here, we're just going to select fill container. And uh, we're going to do the same thing for width. Uh, so let's select this pick one, fit contents, fill container. And then, uh, yep, pick fill container. Fantastic work. Uh, you are great. And now we have the giraffe is the same size of the screen. Uh, you're pretty good right now, but if you want to be the best, let's upload that other image for image two. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So uh, we're going to go back and we're going to copy and paste the exact file name. And uh, yep, next we're going to go back over here and put it in right over there. Yep, you know what to do. Uh, and next for both height and width, we are going to pick pick one, fit contents, fill container, and then pick fill container. Yep, we're going to do that for both. And, uh, and great. Hey, look, very nice. Now you are the best. Good for you. Uh, and the last step is making the tab navigator work. Uh, so click on tab navigator over here. Yeah? Simply click Swipe Enabled. That's it. Terrific work. Uh, now you will be able to swipe between the two screens. Let's check it out. Boop. Your second secret character is Four. Wow, you should be proud of yourself. And again, feel free to tweet your achievements to Thunkable, Hour of Code, or Taylor Swift, uh, because why not? Uh, in our next tutorial, we will be building an app with sound. See you next time, and thanks for thunking!